Good morning, everyone. Hey, long time no speak. Want to show you a quick Christmas canvas that I upcycled. I know Christmas is over, New Year's is on the way, and um, well, there you go. I did one Christmas project this year, so here we go. This was one of those little dollar canvases that you find in the, um, you know, kitty bins, the kitty junk bins at like Michael's and Joann's and all that. And my daughter, once she scribbled all over the little uh, pre-printed canvas the way she wanted, she was done with it. I mean, you know, she's a little kid. So I was like, oh, I don't want to throw it away. It's, I could do something with it. So I covered the back with um, this paper right here. I think it's pink paisley and some washi tape. And I did use um, a little bit of liquid glue because washi, as you know, is uh, removable. So um, I use liquid glue up under and then put the washi over so that it'll um, stay that way, you know, if it's up against the wall or something, it won't rub and make scratches. This is Seven Gypsies Fabric Adhesive Tape, and I cut it into a banner shape. Well, first thing I did was I gessoed over the pre-print, and I used a rather thick coat. And because this is, um, this canvas, as it was, I think is more vinyl than actual, um, like cloth or cotton. It was very slick, so the gesso went on in kind of um, streaks, and it gave it texture, which I actually really, really like, so I'm okay with that. Um, here is, this isn't glitter glass, this is diamond dust, and I use glossy accents to adhere it. Like I said, this is a Seven Gypsies um, adhesive fabric ribbon, and I cut it into a banner shape, and then I tr uh, trimmed it out with a... Uh, Faber Castell, the big brush pens that everyone's going cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs for. Anyway, this one's in, I think, nutmeg color. Um, I have some torn wrapping paper and scrap paper back here. That's what makes the little background. Um, my snowman is from more of that pink paisley paper and American Crafts paper. And then I trimmed them out again with the Faber, Faber Castell pen. Then here's washi tape, which I cut into a banner, trimmed it out with the Faber-Castell pen, and adhered it with glossy accents. These are American Crafts, some of those little um, wood icons that everyone's finding at Tuesday morning and TJ Maxx. And I, I chose the Merry Christmas ones. I did give them a coat of gesso and then a thin coat of liquid white acrylic paint. Um, a snowflake. This was actually a sticker that I bought in a pack of like 12 to use in, um, my smash book for Christmas. And I just like the shape of it. And so I glued it down with glossy accents so that it will stick and stay. And then I put glossy accents over it and covered it with some of that diamond dust. And the diamond dust stuff is really cool for those of you who um, don't want to use the glass glitter because you may have little people living at your house. Um, the diamond dust, I guess, is like plastic or vinyl or something versus the true diamond glass. And you can get it in a big old jar for like $8.99 at Michael's, but of course, wait for a 50% off coupon. You never pay full price. Again, I um the negative pieces from the banner that I cut, I just put across the top of here and trim those out for some added interest. More torn paper. I think this little canvas is six by six. And I trimmed it out with um some of the fabric tape there. I wrapped the snowman, more paper. So I actually, you know, pretty much touched every piece of it. And kind of if you look in the light, you can see it glistening a little bit. So since we don't get snow here in Florida, this is as close as I probably will get to a snowman ever in my life, but that's okay. And I'll wrap them up and put them away for next year. Happy New Year, everybody. Hope all is well with you. And um, if you like this video, hit the like button. If you don't, don't do anything. Have a great New Year. Bye-bye.